Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today I wanted to show you kind of an old workbook that I made a year or two ago, kind of revisiting that. It is an, an allowance tracker. You can use it for your kids if you want them to start being a little bit more responsible for their money. You can use it for yourself if you're a loser like me and you, you know, give yourself an allotted amount of spending money every week and that's all you're going to spend other than bills. Um, that's just how I do it because I'm a tiewad. Anyways, so yeah, my wife and I, we had this thing where we're like, you know what? We want to budget our money. We want to we want to eventually be investors and everything. And uh, what we did is we are using this tool to only give ourselves about ten dollars a week spending money. And then whenever we take out money, oh, uh, whether we you know take it out of the bank and and actually have it, then we will take it out in this program and whenever we put you know it accrues at ten dollars a week and also so it automatically will will put a new line every week whenever you open it up it also uh, you can figure out whenever you spend money from your bank account without actually having the physical money like using a debit card you can just take it out of your allotted amount here using this user form that I built. So without any more yabbering, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So double click. Now I went ahead and put a stop marker on this. So as soon as it opens, it actually normally it does all the things that it needs to do. Here's what I'm going to show you though. I put a stop. I typed STOP right there so it actually won't run all the codes. And I wanted to run through it a little bit. And actually, I'll be revisiting this code. I haven't seen it in a while, but I'll try to walk you through it um, if we can figure it out as we go together. So the first thing is it calls this other macro called Auto Get Allowance. It's probably in this module one here. So if I hit F8, I will be taken to Auto Get Allowance, which is in module one. So the bottom date is it looks like it's getting not the row but the actual date from uh, column A so the bottom date is 523-2012 let's look at that it sure is it's 523 uh, or did I say 2012 523-13 so obviously I haven't updated this form in like six months so I'm going to be getting according to this as soon as it runs its code I'm going to be getting about six months worth of ten dollars a week allowance so that's pretty exciting right because I haven't really we haven't really used this allowance system. We haven't really taken any money out because it's been tight lately. So, anyway, uh, now we're getting the row that the date occurs on by adding the dot row to the former code. Then we're getting the last cell. Well, that's A81, not just row 81, but actually A81. So it just gets the dot address of the, again, the same thing. Today's date. It evaluates uh, uses the evaluate function on equals today as if this was in a cell, and uses C date to make sure it's converted to a nice date format. So 2-1-2014 is today's date. That's correct. So then there's some kind of loop here. Let's take a look here. For X is uh, row two all the way to the bottom row 81, which is accurate. So we're going from the top. If blah blah blah. If this value of the current row in column four. 4 says allowance then the last allowance row is X so what it's doing is ignoring all the deposits and expense withdrawals and whatever and it's only looking for the last one that says allowance so it's going to stop at 80 and say the last allowance took place on 6 6 2013 eventually and uh, so that's it's going to get row 80 and probably the date uh, of uh, this and then from there we're gonna go every week and increment right here and here and here and here and give me 10 bucks a week and then keep accruing the total balance so that's how I designed it the last allowance row is two and it's gonna keep going is that say allowance blah 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 let's just get towards the end here there's not that many rows 33 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 blah 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 well, we're almost there. I was going to just skip through it, but whatever. Oh, holy cow. What did I do now? Okay, I just skipped past some stuff. Anyway, sorry. Um, uh, you know what? Let's see. 
I'm gonna backtrack. Let me, let me, dang it. No, I'm not. I'll just go with it. If A2 is blank, then do nothing. Otherwise, set the print area. We're expanding the print area to A2 through D, whatever, for whatever reason. And we're adding the table is expanding. So I would have actually, nowadays I would probably just do a dynamic range, but this is adding and uh, rewriting the named range to whatever the print area is, which is that. So whatever, that doesn't take very long. Okay, that okay. Here's where we are. Last allowance date. It did end up being six six twenty thirteen. So now we are saying um, the next date is going to be that plus seven days. So one week after, you know, this was a uh, I guess it's, I don't know if it's a Thursday or what, but I think it's every Thursday we give ourselves another ten bucks. So that date plus. The six six twenty thirteen plus a week is six thirteen, and it's just going to keep on going, adding a week to that. So that date plus seven. So if allowance date plus seven is less than or equal to today's date, and it is, it was a while back, so it's not you know today's date or or later. That's why we added the date plus seven here. The next row over here, actually, we're just using the offset, going one column to the right is going to be the rate. So I have if the very top if ever I want to start giving myself more allowance per week uh, this cell is named rate. Okay, So if I put 12 in there it would give me $12 a week uh, from then on. But anyways, blah blah blah. Here's where we are. The rate is 10 and so it's going to be equal to 10 in this cell right here. And it's going to go through the stupid print range thing again. And then this is going to be, uh, this is offsetting at 3 from the original cell, so it should be right here, it's going to say allowance. And uh, this, the, the way this is set up is column B is uh, whenever I get credits, and then C, as you'll see if I scroll up, is negative, and so they're in red, and these are debits, and that's why we skipped over offsetting it by 2. This is equal to allowance, and uh, last allowance date is now going to be equal to that date plus seven. So we're updating this so that now it will, the next time it loops through, it will, you know, give me another a, a week away. So it's now going to be equal to six thirteen. And what do we got here? The let's see, the value of whatever's on column 5 is equal to uh, offset minus 1 in column 5 so uh, what it's saying is this cell is going to be equal to offsetting it minus 1 means going up 1 and row f uh, and row 5 plus no excuse me yeah, I think that is right. I don't know. Anyway, it's taking this plus this and also including any debits that may be here. This also plus this. And that's where it's going to get your uh, total from. So let's scooch this back up into sight. It's going to get that and add it to this and that and the other. And that's where you're going to get your total. Let me scooch this up a little bit. It's been a while since I did a full screen kind of thing usually we don't have to deal with those let me resize some things okay so now you'll see this will give you the current total and then it's going to go to the next date do to do to do, do print range so 57210 I've got a nice little hefty bit of allowance accrued but I do need to start tracking any expense you know if I go out to eat I'll track it on here again I'm a nerd. Uh, you don't have to do this. You don't have to be a loser like that. But anyway, it helps us keep our spending in, in check. So go to next date. And next date is right here. So it's just going to keep on going forever until this condition is no longer true. Until, you know, this date is no longer in the past. But if it's in the future, then I don't get allowance yet because it's not that time for it yet. So go to next date. And we're back here. We just looped back into this infinite loop basically until the date lines up so blah 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 yes 
And the same thing's going to happen here. I'll scooch this up. And we'll zoom past a lot of this now. Do do another 10 bucks. And this is going to be. Uh, let me just click this here. And I'll hit F5. And it'll stop each time it goes to the next date. So 8, 7, 8, uh, 5, 82, 10, 5, 92, 602. And the dates keep incrementing one week. And yada, yada, yada. I'll take this off now. And I'm just going to hit uh, F5. So it runs its thing whenever it opens. And this is what happens in like a split second, really. It says the bank owes you this amount. And I hit OK. And then this user form pops up. And let's say that I'm. I, uh, it pulls up the current date. And I'm going to say, how about. How about uh, today. I'm going to do a withdrawal slash debit. And I'm going to. It's going to be $45. And I'm going to. I don't know. Xbox uh, game. And I might be more specific. But whatever. When I hit. Let me scroll down a little. Well, I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit uh, I'm done or cancel or X out of here. So if I scroll down to the bottom, there's the thing I just typed in in the user form. It types the current date here. And it makes sure if it says withdrawal or debit, that it makes sure to put it as a negative number. And it makes sure to put it in this column. And if it says like de a deposit, it puts it in this cell as a, in this column as a positive number. And it puts a description here, and it gives me my my new total here. And uh, it's never bogged down with a bunch of functions, so it doesn't ever take very long. You know, you open it up, everything's instant. Because is there any equals this equals that? No, it punches in the actual physical value in that cell, so that there's no calculations necessary. Excel doesn't have to recalculate every other cell, every other sec. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Let me uh, show you how that looks whenever it's doing its thing uh, without uh, without all the delay. So as soon as you open it up, and by the way, I'm making this available for download for free. So if you want to copy this, you need to head over to the Dropbox. Uh, we have a link in the video description. You need to check that out and uh, please subscribe please click like anyways alright so let's save it and close it and reopen it really quick and this is what it looks like you open it up and boom it's already done calculating you saw all that stuff I just erased that's it boom done so that's how it works Thanks for watching, and God bless. And be sure to download this. I'll blank out a lot of this, and I'll have a little sample data in the video description, or um, in the in the top of it, just so you can play with it. But that's how it works. You can use it for yourself. You can tweak it. You can make it into something different. I don't care. It's free, man. So uh, enjoy. Thanks again for watching, and God bless.